Angela Price from Eden Condensed Small Space Garden Design, and this is Garden Space. Today I want to show you how to trim Coreopsis. Coreopsis are great late summer blooming uh, plants, and they're related to daisies. And what I like about them is that when you put them into the garden, they take full sun, they don't need a ton of water, and they'll spread out as well. And you'll get blooms year after year with them. But in order to encourage the bloom, you do need to what's called deadhead the plant and uh, get rid of the spent uh, flowers on there. So as the flowers die, you'll see on this one, I've got one here, is to take your garden shears and snip it down near the base of where the flower came out. And you'll go around occasionally and take care of those dead flowers. And that will encourage new growth to come and new blooms. If you have a lot of dead flowers hanging out on the plant, energy from the plant is still going into those stems trying to feed that part of the plant, but there's nothing left to the flower. So you wanna take that out so that way energy from the plant will be redirected into the blooms. Now the other thing with Coreopsis as well as some other daisies is that they do tend to get big after a while and you can trim these back if they start to spill over into a pathway or they're covering another plant. And don't worry about cutting it back pretty far at the end of the blooming season. And you can really just get in and remove leaves and parts that are getting too big or if you want to shape it a little bit, just take your, your shears down towards the base of those leaves and pull them out. If you have any woody parts, go ahead and cut those out too. Generally on a newer plant like this, you're not going to have that, but once it's been in the ground for a while, uh, some of the uh, leaves might get a little woody underneath. If you have any other questions on how to trim your Coreopsis, please contact me at www.edencondense.com. Thank you very much.